Hello, it's Professor Magus, and welcome back to the channel, I guess. Um, I'm pretty sure some people who have been watching the channel lately have been wondering why I haven't been uploading videos, why I haven't been doing stuff, uh, any content at all. Um, well, I have a couple of explanations. As everyone knows, I stopped working three jobs because I was being overwhelmed, I was exhausted, I really haven't been getting anything done, and um, I'm trying to get back into the groove of a regular sleeping schedule, but um, work, you know, I work late at night, well, I get off at, I've been getting off at 10 o'clock PST lately, and it's, it's annoying, to be honest, but, you know, I'm trying to do what I need to do to pay bills, do, will do what I need to do to survive, um, while I am actually getting back into the groove of learning web development, I'm doing the web developer track on Treehouse, um, i also been doing the, um, web developer bootcamp by Cold Steel on, uh, Udemy, so I'm still kind of confused with a lot of stuff, whereas, um, from my observation, um, it's... It's totally different, quite obviously. The way courses are, are teaching are a totally different perspective. With Treehouse, you know, you're learning to build a website that is, well, from the ground up. I mean, both of them start from ground up, you know, learning your tags and everything else. But you're growing, well, you're building your website on Treehouse with the mindset of, making it mobile friendly first so you know having it being responsive on iphone android phones tablets ipads whatever and then you know along the line it'll be easier for you to code up a desktop version because it's just easier it, it makes things a little bit more responsive from what i see but with the web developer course by colt steel it's totally different you're writing a landing page or you know you're writing a startup page and you know i just want to build a portfolio and build little projects so yeah <laughs> i'm not trying to do like full stack or anything else because it looks like it's going to be a the web developer course by cold seal is definitely in fact a uh, pretty much a full stack uh course which is both front end and back end and <laughs> I'm not ready to do back end yet. I I just want to do front end. I just want to be a front end web developer for the time being. That's what my career path is for now. Eventually I'll learn back end stuff like Ruby and um jQuery PHP. But anyway, that that's what I've been up to with my life. I've been trying to get back into regular sleeping schedule. I'm I'm self teaching myself online. And that's pretty much why I haven't been uploading videos, and that's why I haven't been streaming on Twitch so much lately. It's just because I want to focus on getting an internship. So that's pretty much my excuse, I guess. <laughs> um, but I am trying to get back onto a regular streaming schedule. I'm trying to get back onto a regular uploading schedule. Uh, Ventus' story for Birthplace Play Final Mix is done. I need to start Aqua Story. I'm trying to get that done as quickly as I possibly can. Um, as you know, I started Dream Drop Distance and I edited the first video on Sony Vegas Pro and I'm gonna be honest, I, I've tried getting rid of the background buzzing and whatnot on Audacity. Well, I, I do noise reduction on Audacity. I do equalization on Audacity, and that's it. Um, I try, you know, removing any background noise and anything else on Sony Vegas Pro. I just don't like the way it's structured. You know, it's impossible for me to do. So the rest of the Dream Drop Distance Let's Play is going to be edited on Adobe Premiere Pro, and that's pretty much what I have a final say on that. So it's just the fact that I, I don't like Sony Vegas Pro. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I mean, I got it for 20 bucks. I mean, that was a nice steal, but I just... I don't... 
Excuse me. I don't know why I don't like Sony Vegas Pro. It, it It's a pretty cool program, but I like Adobe Premiere better. But um, the rest of the Dream Shot This Is Let's Play will be on, will be edited through Adobe Premiere the way I know how to do it. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, how have you guys been? I mean, what do you guys think of the trailer reactions I brought out on this past week with E3? I have a lot to talk about with E3 and Kingdom Hearts 3, so, um, but all the videos are being rendered as we speak. I think I already rendered them, but I need to upload them, except for Ventus's finale. I thought I had the whole live commentary for it, but it's gone. Again, I, I face this dreadful curse <laughs> that that is the... Oh, I have the whole live commentary recorded and I edit it and then it's just... Son of a bitch. So, that's pretty much that. So, thank you guys, you know, so much for the past five years. Really, it, my five years was last month. So, I have... I've been working on a special video for my five month, I mean five year anniversary for the channel. So yeah, there's that. And then I am going to be starting a Kingdom Hearts live stream series soon. You know, I'm gonna start from Birth by Sleep, and then we're gonna go all the way to Dream Drop Distance. Even though they're already in a Let's Play format, it's just I want to do that. Maybe do a sabotage run. You know, make incentives to screw me over. <laughs> so yeah, it'll it'll be for fun, and then you know, with um, with those incentives, um, maybe one day, in one of those sessions, we'll make the incentives for charity, which I really want to do. So, uh, we'll I'll figure something out. I'll, I'll I'll plan it out. So thank you guys so much for just sitting down and hanging out, watching this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care.